A decision by the 5th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals could pave the way for the state to take over the Jackson Mega Wiley Evers International Airport. But the city can still challenge the decision made earlier in the week. 12 News' Cameron Smith spoke with the Jackson City Council member about the dispute. A federal appeals court says it is ending a dispute over whether the state or the city will control the airport board in Jackson. It's all politics, and it's dirty politics in my opinion. The ruling appears to clear the way for a board appointed mostly by the state. On Wednesday, the city said they are looking for clarification on the court's ruling. We're still in the fight. Uh, we have, you know, we've come a long way and we still have a long way to go. Vice President of the City of Jackson City Council, Brian Grizel, says this effort to try and take away the airport from the city is frustrating and there's other possible reasons why the state wants the airport. I think it's more about the land around the airport, the resources around it, uh, but you know there are other economic hubs in the state and I don't see the state trying to take those economic hubs. You have them in North Mississippi, you also have them on the south. Why not concentrate your efforts on those areas instead of our airport? Some Jackson residents sued the state in 2016 and airport board members and city officials later joined them. The suit was in response to a law creating a nine-person regional board for the airport. In a statement, the city of Jackson says, quote, the city was not part of that appeal and will continue to advance its claims under the state and federal constitutions that SB 2162 amounts to an unconstitutional takeover of the city's authority to maintain and manage the airport, end quote. We reached out to the Jackson Municipal Airport Authority. Their response states they are aware of the court's ruling on Tuesday and will not provide further comment during an active legal matter. We also reached out to Senators Harkins and Kirby, who are authors on SB 2162, and are waiting to hear back. Reporting in Jackson, Cameron Smith, 12 News.